Here we are trundling along in the uh, Queen Elizabeth II, ooh, I mean the uh, Infiniti QX80. Uh, uh, it used to be the Q56. Uh, Infiniti has, has rejiggered their uh, model nomenclature, and now all of their uh, SUVs are prefixed with the Q. So this vehicle last year was the Q56. Uh, now it's the Q80. It's their top of the line, three-row, full-size, ultra-premium, uh, SUV. Uh, it is, it's a mother, it's a big sucker as we trundle down the road. You can see the undulating hood, whale like, you can almost imagine a water spout uh, erupting in the center of it as we go up and down. Uh, this thing's actually plausibly sporty for something that's this massive, that's almost 7,000 pounds, uh, and on a ginormous wheelbase that's comparable to something like an old Buick Electra T25. Uh, we're trucking along here at about uh, close to 80, 75, around 1800 RPMs. The big V8, effortlessly powerful. And some stitched interior. You look at the nice individually put together leather sections. It's a nice roller. Um, it does not wallow like the QE2. At least it doesn't wallow too, too much for something like this. Um, it's actually, uh, in my opinion, the, the only large, really large SUV. Uh, that's plausibly sporty, that, that has the sport part of SUV. Uh, Range Rover um, offers something that's comparable as far as its driving dynamics, but uh, the Range Rover is considerably smaller. This thing uh, has three massive rows of seats and a ton of cargo area back there, which hopefully you can see. Uh, I'll give you a, a more thorough walk around once I'm actually stopped. Anyway, uh, come on over to epautos.com, uh, libertariancarguy.com for the full review, and we'll see you there.